I see you there, walking to my house. As you can see, I'm just doing a little bit of light reading, reading about what, what is the matter with Megan? You see, it's the abridged edition. But what I want to share with you today is something near and dear to all of us, Latin and the coronavirus. Let's begin. Now, for those of you who think that Latin is just something we use from 2,000 years ago, let me show you how Latin and some of the terms you've been hearing on the news, how it all comes from Latin. First, the word that's pretty much on the news every single minute, coronavirus. Coronavirus actually just comes from two separate Latin words, words that aren't even changed from Latin. You want to see what they are? First, corona. The Latin word corona actually comes from a Greek word, corone. They both mean crown. Now just, not don't think just about the crown you think of when you think of kings. Crowns in Roman times and Greek times is also like a garland or a wreath. Anyone who won a sporting event would get a kind of corona or crown to wear on their head. The second part of that word, virus, is just the Latin word for poison or venom. That also comes from a Greek word, eos, also meaning poison or venom. So when you put the two together, coronavirus, coronavirus, it's a crown poison. Now why is it called coronavirus? When you see an up close picture of the coronavirus, it looks as if the virus has little spikes coming from it. So it looks like the spikes coming from a crown or a wreath or a garland. Now, Latin's just not in the word coronavirus, but also in other words that you've been hearing and seeing in the news as well. Take, for example, essential or non-essential. When you go to the store, you see that some places are only selling essential items, but they are not selling non-essential items. Now, you know already, non, or in Latin, non, means not. Essential, also a Latin word that you all know. Sum esse fui. To be. To be or to exist. So essential items are items that help you be or exist. Non-essential items are things that you don't need to be or to exist. The last word that I want to share with you that you hear in the news is social distancing. That too just comes from Latin words. Social comes from socius, meaning ally or friend. Distancing comes from two Latin words, de, away from or from, and sto, stari, steady, statum to stand. So when you put those words together, as what I've always told you, begin at the end, work way to the front, socius de sto, to stand away from your friend. So in these times that we practice social distancing and buying only essential items and learning more about coronavirus, remember, Latin's there to help you as well. Understand not only what's going on in the world, what's going on in the news, but also help you understand where these terms all come from. So, as I finish, stay safe, practice social distancing, buy only essential items, and keep on reading. Now I'll get back to my book here. Have a good day.